Hello everyone. This is a video on how I made my Sora costume from Kingdom Hearts 2. And this video is meant to just give you kind of an idea of some materials and things you can use to make a costume like this. And um, I know that a lot of beginners might not know quite where to start, so I know when I started this costume I had no idea what I was doing, but somehow it came together, so I just wanted to pass on my experiences with you. Um, let's start with the shoulder pauldrons. We'll go from top to bottom here. Um, so these are supposed to be like his armor, uh, little armor things that he wears. I know it only protects his shoulders. He's just wearing street clothes, is really the rest of it. But the armor here is just some shiny vinyl filled with uh, padding, just some cheap foam that I had. And these things are very useful. I found them at Joann's. They're called button covers, and they come in silver. And it's so you can like make any color button you want by putting fabric over them. But I just like the silver ones because they're great for cosplay. You can say use them to both for this part to attach it to the jacket <coughs> and for the end of the shoulder armor. Uh, these buckles I found on a purse. I found a purse with two matching buckles at like Savers for two bucks. So I just bought it for the buckles and cut the buckles off. Um, this is that uh, binding, sorry, binding tape you can find at Joann's in like any color and comes in different sizes. So that was really easy to put together. Also, I wanted to make sure these were detachable from the jacket so I could wash the jacket because you don't want your, your um, convention costumes to become gross. You want to be able to wash them. So here's a pretty crappy job, but I put some snaps on the end of he these here and that way they're always um, perfectly symmetrical and aligned the way they should be. Ah, now I can't snap it. Okay. And then this here I put sticky back Velcro to attach it onto the shoulder of the costume. So yeah, it's completely removable and then I can just wash the jacket by itself which has been really awesome. I washed it many, many times. Um, the jacket is an adapted hoodie, and I used some really nice thick knit hoodie fabric, so it's nice and soft and cozy, and I kind of made the hood kind of pointed, like I saw in some of the reference pictures for Sora, so I adapted the hoodie pattern just a little, and of course cut the sleeve short, and uh, Luna approves. <laughs> Um, and then I added lots of trim. This is just a, a white, shiny, kind of shiny fabric that I found. These pockets are non-functional. So you can see I just added a strip for the pocket. Um, the bottom is that same white fabric. You can see I just put some stuff in there. And then a zipper, which when I zip it up, it's actually off by about half an inch, but you can't really tell because he never zips up his jacket, so that's good. <laughs> It was my like first time using a pattern, so I was, I was okay with how it turned out. It's kind of wrinkly now that it's been washed so many times, but it looked good when I first made it. This safety pin is because I find that when I pin the jacket to fit my shape, it looks a lot better for photos than if it's just hanging loose. I feel like in the reference pictures, he kind of had this curve to his back. Um, uh, you know, the picture where he's like eating the popsicle on the beach and he's faced away from the camera. Um, it looks like his, his jacket kind of swoops in in his inner back. And so it's kind of this sexy curve thing he does. So that's why I pin it is so it, it conforms to my body a little bit and does that swooping curve thing. Then underneath, we just have a regular dark blue tank top. I add it on a pocket. Uh, this is knit fabric. Maybe I should have used something other than a stretch knit because now it's kind of shrunk. Um, but yeah, it's just a, it was a v-neck already. So that was, that turned out really nice to have just already a v-neck. Added a pocket on. And then this necklace, this chain is actually the first thing I ever bought that I knew I was going to use for Sora someday. I worked at Joann's and I saw this on sale for clearance. I'm like, it's a Kingdom Hearts chain. Look at those big links. They're so beautiful. So yeah, I, I bought that at Joann's a long time ago. And then the 
metal part, <laughs> metallic looking part of this, is actually a um, quarter inch foamies, a white foamies that I painted with nail polish. So it looks very metallic and shiny. If you look at it up clo close, of course, there's flaws and whatnot, but from far away, it looks really nice and metallic. And then um, to hold the chain on there, like I saw in the reference picture, um, I basically what I did is put two quilting pins through the side of this thing and then cut the little ball top off of them. So this is two pins holding the chain onto the necklace. And so far it's never broken and I've worn it to a lot of cons, so I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. So that's the necklace. And then um, I am missing the blue belt that's supposed to bring his top and bottom parts together. I've never made that belt. I do plan to now that I have some blue leather for another costume I'm working on. Um, so yeah, I never did the belt, but no one's ever seemed to notice that. Um, here we have the little, I called them the, the saddle bags, <laughs> the side saddle pockets. I made a pattern for paper that had it, so it was a long, long rectangle folded in on itself and then with a triangle at the top. And then I have some sticky back Velcro. Now, sticky back Velcro, I don't recommend on stuff that you wash or like fabric really ever because it doesn't always hold up. <laughs> it sometimes likes to unstick. It's not reliable, so I do not recommend sticky back Velcro. I used some elastic strapping for the black part. And these are totally functional pockets. I put things in them all the time for conventions. I just carry everything in these pockets. So it's really awesome to have working pockets. Whenever you can make something functional on a costume, do it. It is so worth it later. You will thank yourself. Um, okay, so I just bought yellow strapping from Joanne and like these rectangular buckles. And again, I used sticky back Velcro. You can see where that's a problem. But this is so you can easily detach the belt anytime. You just it's just folded over. It's like that on the front and the back side. Um, and so, yeah. <laughs> Stick back Velcro all over the place. So then you have the two saddlebags. And then underneath I wear just a pair of blue basketball shorts. And then these were adapted from a huge pair of pants that I found at Savers that were this nice um, kind of jersey material too. And then I cut them apart and put in the elastic band that fits my waist and then added some trim, white trim. You just kind of fold it over and sew it onto there. And I added some more white trim here. Then at the bottom, you can see that these are really long. These are the full length of the pants. Um, I added some elastic that was fit to just above my calf. So just below my knee. And so that way I just shove these up onto above my calf and they hold on. And then I have some batting, quilting batting inside here to kind of puff them out. Because that's something that, that is really important with Square Enix characters, especially if you want to make sure the shape is right. If you can puff things out where they're supposed to be puffed out, people will really believe in the character more when you wear it. So make sure you puff things out with batting or foam or whatever you can find to make that shape closer to your reference photos and your character. And last but not least, nope, it's not the boat shoes. I did not make the giant yellow boat shoes, though maybe someday when I'm really bored, maybe I'll make the boat shoes. Um, these gloves I found at Savers. They are Gore-Tex gloves, so they're very puffy, very, very insulated, as you can see. I mean, these are great if you're in, like, zero to negative 20 degree weather. Um, and I just took that bias tape stuff and wrapped it around, sewed it on, used those button cover thingies, a little bit of vinyl. And these are really nice and big, so they give that, once again, puffed, big illusion. Uh, very cartoony and very cute for this costume. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned maybe something new you can try if you're trying to do Sora or maybe another Kingdom Hearts character. Thanks for watching!